The other day, my friend sent me a screenshot of five items and claimed they were impossible to find in survival Minecraft. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's just an enchanted crossbow that you can't make. Two billion bottles, but a limit of 64. And uncraftable arrows, which are uncraftable. However, obtaining the first item was a breeze, so I made it my mission to prove Parrot wrong with dedication, exploits, and boo. Hey! I think the goal is to start off with the easier ones and work our way to the impossible ones. However, this was way harder than I thought, but if you want to see another video like this, you just have to subscribe. So the second item looks normal until you realize it has every protection in the game. Obviously, you can't get those enchants from trades or an enchantment table, so all that leaves left is using an anvil. But to test, I first need a librarian. Ow! Jeez! No, 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 no. You're coming to me, bro. I'm gonna figure out what to do with you later. All right, we got the rest of the books in an anvil. The question is, does it work? No. No matter what combination I used, it didn't work. But is an anvil our only option? Mobs can drop chest plates, but it maxes out at level 22 enchants. I checked every structure in Minecraft, except nothing was found. So yes, an anvil is our only option. However, there's another way. Versions. Out of all, there is only one that glitches out and allows you to combine the books. Except, I forget which one that is. But as a strong believer in the scientific method, I'm willing to make the switch. Okay, we are in, and it does not work. Let's go to version 1.17. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, the entire world just... What? Dude, the entire world just reset. Well, the good news, though, is that there is a village right over here. Now, it looks like some villagers survived, but what I have on me is all I have left. Okay, but the real question is, does this work? No. Time to go to 1.17. And we're good. Oh, wait, we're not. Oh, yeah, this village is gone. And my villagers, too. Does it work yet? does not work i don't what if it doesn't work what if it's just like he's trolling me this is all a joke version 1.16 to version 1.15 oh okay the entire world is gone again oh no oh my game just crashed okay we're back in oh my game just froze okay there seems to be an issue are we in wow i did not expect that to be that bad well we have one job it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. I did all of that for that still not to work. All right, well, let's go to 1.14. All right, let's see it. Oh, it does work. Oh, shit. 1.14 is the version. Oh, we could do this. This is actually possible. And we still got you out. Yep, okay. All right, here's the problem, though. We have lost all of our villagers. We have lost our home. And we're still missing two books. So we need to find this village. Oh, look at that. All right, is there a villager, though? That's a villager. That's a villager. Let's build, like, a nice little area here. Ow. Okay, don't do that. At first, trading was normal until I noticed this. Every time I refresh the villager, it glitches out, and I can't change the trade until it remembers 10 minutes later, oh right, I have no job. But after getting two books, I somehow ran out of villagers. So let's travel another thousand blocks to this village. So we take these two books and put them together. No! So I combined the books wrong. And even though I have all the enchants, it's not on a chest plate. So we need to get new books. I'm breaking three. Wait. Oh, no. All right, new plan. Since I need all my villagers back, I need to make a pit, throw some villagers into it, and breed them. I'm also gonna mine while I wait for them to refresh, and hopefully we can get the rest of the books by tomorrow. We have worked for far too long, but we got finally got it. This will be the most powerful chest plate in all of Minecraft. It is here. Look at this, bro. Oh my god. I am actually invincible. Okay, well, that is two out of the five items we're gonna be needing. Then I got a DM from Parrot saying he wants to see the items by the end of the week, which leaves us with four days. But I mean, the next item shouldn't be that hard, right? This is the Uncraftable Arrow, which I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume we can't craft this. However, it does say here that it's a tipped arrow, but even the creative menu doesn't have it. So this begs the question, how did Parrot obtain it? I mean, he could have used commands, it looks like I found 
something else. I logged on to the world he sent me, and I guess he must have used these to obtain the items. The anvil is probably for the chest plate, but the rest... I need to do some testing. Question is, how do we use this? Um... Oh, shoot! Oh, that's how you do it! It's that simple. I was ready to like go through like a whole scientific process of like, okay, my question is what does this look like on a bow? Will it one shot me? Will it make me fly? Look, you just subscribed. Okay, so we have three days left and two more items, which should be enough time to finish. But this crossbow is impossible to make. Just like the chest plate has illegal enchants, which are piercing and multi-shot, but it appears the glitch doesn't work. I tried every combination on a test world and nothing would combine, even in the right version. Once again, I checked hundreds of outposts to find it with no results. I killed thousands of pillagers and nothing had dropped. I even tried enchanting, but still nothing would work which left me with one choice. At the beginning of the challenge, he offered to give me one hint. I originally planned on using this for the last item. However, with no leads, obtaining this crossbow would be impossible. The video he sent was a raid farm, and I guess he's implying that it drops from pillagers. However, if it didn't drop from 10,000, how rare is it really? I put the thought aside and prepared to build the farm, except it only works in 1.16, and my world is in 1.15. I don't know if I'm gonna lose my world again, but if I want to finish, this is necessary. Know what I'm doing. God, bro, it's gonna break. Oh! Oh, shoot! We're good! They're all here! And nothing's broken! Oh my god! The plan is to grind all of the materials and build the farm. But because we have two days left, we're instead going with plan B. It works like a charm. I'm not allowed to use creative or commands, which hopefully means this is fair game. But we still have to get at least one of each item. So let's start checking off this list. All right, ice is a tricky one because I've traveled a lot, but I've seen no ice. Luckily, I asked Parrot and he said I'm allowed to use the seed, which is apparently somehow zero. Anyways, let's locate a snow biome and get this ice. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. What is my luck? There we go. The rest of the items are in the nether, so where's the fortress? Why does this look so bleak? Oh, wait, we're the nether update hasn't happened yet. Finally, we're ready to do, but how exactly? Well... And boom, now we can kill this wither, and there's the last one. Oh wait, I'm missing sticky pistons. So I AFK'd at the swamp, except none have spawned. So let's take a look at the seed to find a slime chunk, and what the f- So I want to build a slime farm, but the issue is that I've never built a slime farm. Typically I just steal it from a friend, but hopefully this will work. It didn't. Alright, let's try this again. How about another one, but still no slime. I even went out 500 blocks for another swamp and found nothing. Surely my work world isn't corrupted. Alright, it says here that they spawn most often on a full moon. So let's wait. Okay, now it's a full moon. So there should be slime at the swamp. Where are the slime? Wait, I legitimately think my world cannot spawn slime. What do I do? Uh, no, bro. Upgrade it and do the frogs. Gotta get my world corrupted again, though. Oh, there's a slime! Alright, I'm out, bro. Finally! I got it! And after a bit of duping, we finally have everything we need to build this raid farm. But the question is, where should I build this? On the test world, it's in the middle of the ocean with no blocks nearby. So let's look at the seed and travel in the nether. Okay, not an ocean, but still very useful. This is a lake, not an ocean. And this should work. I'm going to be using a schematic mod to replicate this farm made by Rayworks. But even then, I don't know how this works. So here's my best explanation. First, I need to make a beacon so I don't die while using it. Next, let's make the piston pushy thingy that will take me up the claustrophobic pipe, which also passes by this clump of redstone and timers and then reaches the main hub. Now let's make the death pipe where the mods will be sorted into using this water. And up here, they'll spawn on this packed ice. Uh, I got the wrong ice. Here, they'll spawn on the packed ice and the big guys will die in this lava. And I gotta say, this looks pretty good. It can't exactly be a raid farm without villagers. All right, I think we're ready to test the farm. Let's grab Bad Omen and wait. I forgot to get Sweeping Edge, which if I don't use, I'll just die to Vexes. However, I'll start a raid if I go back to my base. So... 
What? Okay, so I forgot to reset my spawn point. That's great. And I also dropped my chest plate, which will despawn any minute. Oh my god, I don't know the chords. No, dude. I'm gonna rage. We have 1,000 blocks to travel. A very short amount of time. If the chest plate despawns, I have no idea what to do. No, oh, the cactus are over there. Oh, I see it. You don't understand how much I wanted. I just need to see this chest plate. Every other item, like, I should have duped it. I should have duped it. Please, dude. Yes! 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 Oh my god. That was actually terrifying. Let's dupe the chest plate so I don't cry again. But now with Sweeping Edge, let's grab Bad Omen again and test this raid far. We're going to do this. This is going to work. All right, so we stand to the back of this. Hoppers should be ready. Lava is in. All right. I'm actually hoping this works. All right. All right. We go up. Um, I'm not sure if it's working. I mean, they're dropping down, obviously. And then we have Bad Omen. We have Bad Omen 5 from that. It's working! This is the first time I got a raid farm to work first try. And I'm getting Bad Omen again. It works. It works perfectly. All right, it's been two hours, so let's see what we got. Nope. All right. First round, we found nothing. We've only killed 3,200 pillagers, so, you know, there's still a chance that this is possible. However, I couldn't help but notice a video in my recommended. And after I clicked, I realized it was about the crossbow I was looking for. So I downloaded the world to see it for myself. But the truth was revealed. The crossbow parrot challenged me to obtain would require me to kill 2.5 million pillagers just to get one. My work was wasted in one day was left no crossbow no bottles and no idea what to do next i had already used my final hint and these blocks still don't make sense with no hope i decided to sleep on it and the final day was here i'm not allowed to use creative or commands but i asked parrot who exactly those rules apply to and of course he said myself that may not make a lot of sense but here's the thing we agreed that it had to be a single player challenge but what if this player the one who has these specific items and stats could be in two different worlds at once we're gonna create test one a survival world and we're just going to we're gonna pick up some seeds i want to add a chest right here with an item in it we're gonna go into here we're gonna copy these two place all files in this destination so here's what our one test world looks like and here's what our creative one looks like place a bunch of bedrock grab our region and poi replace all test one run over here we have bedrock we still have our two seeds this is the same player i have not used commands nor creative yet i have bedrock is this cheating to his rules technically not we are going to take our world replace all boom so we put this crossbow in here let's go let's go however editing the world wouldn't give me the final item for one reason you can get past 64 by editing the player's data but no exploit can change the max 127 no matter what you do there is no possible way to go past that number except something's not adding up every block here was used apart from the brewing stand and i am not leaving this world until i find a way to use this One hundred and ninety-two bottles in one stack. But I knew I could go further. This command block will automatically place the bottles in this brewing stand, so all I have to do is click. And that's exactly what I did until the final moments when I made one fateful discovery. Okay, great. It's impossible to put in your inventory. But if that's the case, how did Parrot obtain this screenshot? Oh, you should watch this video where I create anarchy on a YouTuber SMP. Anyways, goodbye!